What's going on guys? It's that time of the month. We are coming at you with a product review. And we got a lot of stuff. The stuff has just been piling up, so we're gonna try to run through these quick. It's been a while since we've done one though, so. Yeah. I wanna start with these. These look really good. Okay. So hopefully they've put as much money and effort into their peanut butter as they did into the packaging. Cause these are like whiskey bottle packages. That's a good shot, isn't it? Yeah. Fix and fog peanut butter makers. Super crunchy. Smoke and fire. Dark chocolate, smooth. What, what do you want to try? Let's try two of them. I want to try crunchy. Peanuts and sea salt. How much better can peanut butter really be? Maybe they're like roasting it better. Maybe they're using better peanuts. Yeah, I'm sure it's the where the peanuts are from and how the quality of them. These yeah. are crunchy as F. That is really good. That is really good. There's some like nuanced subtlety to it. It's not just like stuff you get at the grocery store. No, it's not. They really elevated peanut butter, I must say. Yeah, they made it like high class. Yeah. This would be like great if you have that friend, like my sister, she says she eats a half a cup of peanut butter every day. If you got her like this type of stuff for Christmas or something, that could be cool. We should order this for Michelle. Yeah. She'd probably hate it though. She's like a Jeff purist. So this is smoke and fog? Spicy. I'm into these. Wow. I would buy these again, I think. And they're probably really expensive, but I might just do it anyway. Not even just really, like absurdly expensive. That is very spicy. Comment below how much you think these cost for one of them. Comment below, closest wins something. But you can't look it up. They're gonna look it up. Honor system. But man, when you deliver like that, you can charge prices, right? You can. It's like blue magic over here. This is the blue magic of the peanut butter industry. $14.99 on how Amazon. How does it have a four star rating? This should be five star. What's the one star rating say? I'm a peanut butter fanatic. It readily opened with no pop, vacuum, or resistance at all. I really didn't trust it. You're a fanatic for like the pop sound, <laughs> not actual good tasting peanut butter. I know, you should just be buying tennis balls, three packs by the <laughs> dozen. Rouse. You guys use these, you know about them. They sent us a bunch, thankfully, because I love using Rouse. You can find them at Whole Foods and some like even Walmart, right? I found Sometimes. them at Publix, I found them at Kroger. You find them everywhere, honestly. And they usually have a lot of sales in the stores. And they have marinara, tomato basil, pizza, and I think like an artichoke one, which is really good. It's basically just no sugar added marinara sauce. Yeah. Then we got sent the entire Skinny Lock. syrup lineup. Line. Like these to me are just, who well, buys? Oh, what are those? Who buys this? Unicorn Dream. This is for cocktails. Okay, Cocktail, champagne, water, lemonade, yeah. What's going on with these essentially is, it's a zero calorie sweetener. It uses sucralose and mm -hmm. acylfame potassium. So two artificial sweeteners, acylfame potassium, you probably heard of is like not that great for you. It also uses like some artificial colorings and stuff. So, you know, when you're dealing with zero calorie stuff like this, it's always gonna be a little chemically. But I'm sure they taste great. It's gonna be really intense that way. Tastes pretty good, yeah. I think yeah. the worst one, I would never do mocha. That would be good in coffee. That with like heavy cream blended. I just, it's so sweet. So I'd have to really just like use like one a little bit. So Smart Cake came out with a new flavor. We tried these already. Oh, I didn't. If you don't know Smart Cakes, it's one of our fave things to order. Raspberry cream. I don't have high health. I don't like like raspberry, like fruity flavors for my desserts. It's nine carb, five fiber, four erythritol. Close to zero carbs essentially. It's like a little under one carb, I think. But this flavor is not my fave. No, it's not. It's not that like their the, their flavors are generally really strong tasting. This What's one, your favorite flavor? Cinnamon. Coconut. We have a huge winner on our hands here. And We've actually been working our way through these. We've eaten most of them. So kale pizza crust, cauliflower dessert pizza crust, which is good. Matt loves those. Mexican cabbage pizza crust, and there's some other ones too. There's a spinach one, there's a zucchini one. They have a chocolate one. It's Kbosh Foods. I don't know how much they are, but they're really good. So like this one, for example, one third of the crust is less than one net carb. So the entire pizza crust. It's like three net carbs. It's a pretty good size too. So they crisp up great in the oven for pizza. I use them for sandwiches. Matt, Matt likes to just eat them like warmed up with ghee. A really great option. Check them out, Kbosh. Keto Basis. Keto Mana. The company is Synchro. So Keto Basis, is this just exogenous ketones? Oh, this is just MCT oil powder. Sweetened. Sweetened with monk fruit. Tastes pretty good. And then know. these are ketogenic chocolate wonder food. So 22 fat. Eight carbs, five fiber, three protein. Liquidy though, you really- 12 grams of MCTs. 
Gotta mush it up. That's a lot. That's that's a tablespoon. Yeah. So for the uninitiated, that could be problematic, I would imagine. And it's like a thick paste thing. I I don't really love it. It's definitely like a lot more bitter than I expected. It's like really dark chocolate bitter, which is good. It's not bad. It is bitter for sure. I like it though. But good for traveling, right? These are convenient for yeah. on the go. So yeah, we just got two cookies in the mail wrapped in like they didn't even do Ziploc. They just did what is this? It's called the cookie department. That one's cakewalk, this one's mint condition, and they even have the macros here, which is really good. You'd we... think they would do Ziploc to send it to us, right? This is like little startup from home made, right? I would imagine. We eat some questionable stuff, guys. Like this could easily kill us. These cookies won't hit stores until the end of the summer, so our cook Kickstarter is there out right now. Okay. 18 fat, 20 carbs, five of which is fiber, 11 sugar alcohol, it has little sprinkles on it and it smells really good. For the amount of sugar alcohols in there, it's not too sweet. They must not use any like stevia or monk fruit, which I think a little dash could make it better. That's good though. It's pretty good. It tastes like a cookie, which is which is cool. Probably one of the better cookies I've tasted we've been sent. It's nice it's, and soft. But it is pretty high in total carbs. Like this is 20, 20 carbs right here. So I don't know how excited I would be to just eat this and then bow, like go out on the town. I like that one better. I like the cakewalk. They're both pretty good though. I don't think I'd seek these out and like order them online, but. But if you're a cookie person, a lot of people love their cookies. What I'm waiting for is someone to be servicing these restaurants with stuff like this. So like say you go out to Applebee's and you want dessert, they have like one of these, like one one or two cookies is just a low carb option that they like yeah. get service to them somehow. I guess that would be the best place to have it. But I was thinking like you were gonna say like a nice steakhouse. And if we have discount codes guys, those will be in the description below along with every product linked. We got these, Keto Chow. Oh yeah, ready to go shake. These bottles are gigantic. They are, is so this... this is a thousand oh calories. <laughs> so they sell them as powder usually. And it's shelf stable, so you only have to refrigerate after you open. You can drink this from morning to end of work day before dinner. You're better off getting something like this because it has fat in it, it's higher fat. And it's nutritionally complete. Compared to like the premier protein ones and stuff. So this has, for a thousand calories, so this is like, you know, half a day's worth of food basically. 82 fat, 45 protein, 18 carb, 10 fiber. The fat is heavy cream, the protein is milk protein isolate. So you know, a lot of dairy, so if that's did... an issue for you. It's yummy. It tastes like a on-the-go shake, right? Very yummy. Chocolate would... milk-like. It would be very hard for me to not drink the whole thousand calories like in the car on my way to work. My concern with this, yeah, is it's a thousand calories of really palatable food. Drink. A lot of people lose a lot of weight using this, but um, for me it's like just tastes too good. I just chug these all day. What's this mystery? Bovino. Crispy, crispy beef jerky. This one has a coupon code, so check check out below. Whoa. So it's almost like beef jerky chips. Oh man. They might have something here. This tastes good. I like it. Yeah, I do too. It's not like a home run, but it's close. Yeah, they're enjoyable. Good flavoring. Definitely got something, yeah. I mean, I would eat this whole bag right now though. Easily. But it's like chips. Yeah. Isn't it? It's crunchy. It'd be good for like dipping. Kombucha, powder drink mix. A new way to experience kombucha. Three carb, two fiber. I don't understand how you preserve the benefits of kombucha in powdered form like this. You wanna just taste the powder? I'll just taste the powder. Strong flavor. So it's good, right? Do you get a kombucha taste or no. just the raspberry lemon? A little lemony, raspberry, yeah. This is dumb to me. I would never buy it. I mean, if there's something that we claim to be a health food that has been like eaten or drank for thousands of years, someone will powder it and try like selling it to you as a supplement. Natural Force Keto Coffee Creamer. Whoa. Whoa, that's beautiful. It's liquid, okay. MCT oil, caramel flavor, caramel color. So a tablespoon is seven and a half grams of fat, zero protein, and a little less than one carb. It's just a emulsified MCT oil and some flavor. Oh, there's no sweetener. But yeah, I mean, it's really thick. It's really caramelly. I feel like there should be sweetener in it. 
But maybe their thinking was like, if you want to add your own, yeah. it's not bad. It's not something I would ever even consider buying. If I was going to buy one, this I would buy this over like a powdered one. Yeah, I guess that's the thing with like most of these are things I've never even considered buying. They're like making products for things I don't need. They're trying to make me realize I need something, but I don't. I think this is the coolest one, the coolest creamer on the market for keto. I mean, the best keto creamer on the market in my mind is just heavy cream. Seasonings. Cosmos. Oh, I tried one of these the other day when oh. we made something. Oh yeah, we have, we used one. Was it on like a chicken or something? Oh, it was on the wings when I smoked them. There's not a ton to say because like we love having pre-made seasonings. We're always smoking stuff, grilling stuff, cooking stuff. So it's nice to have these. I'm trying to put my mind in like the place of the person creating this. Like what new are you bringing to the table? You're just like, I'm really good at combining spices. You have to be good at branding and marketing, I but guess. But there are some seasoning mixtures that I like better than others. This so that's different. Tasty taco. That's like not the normal taco seasoning. That's a good one, right? It's very different. It's a little different, yeah. This is just ready to focus MCT oil powder. So it's MCT oil powder and L-theanine. Mm, oh, that's good. That's the first we've ever seen that, right? But why? Why does this exist? I mean, this is just trying to make a product that no one needs and like... Well, assuming you're adding it to your coffee. I guess. How much L-theanine is in it? 200 milligrams L-theanine for a scoop. So yeah, L-theanine... Is it like sweet or anything? I don't know. It, it, there's no sweetener, I guess, right? Oh. It helps you focus a little bit. It tastes really bad. I mean, you're probably not supposed to just eat it like that. Yeah. Probably not on our radar to buy, but no. it, it exists. Definitely not on my radar. Go beyond bone broth protein. I'm just, this one is really just getting to me for some reason. So many people making useless things. Organic grass-fed bone broth protein. So the fact that it's grass-fed doesn't mean anything because it's the protein, it's not the fat where the grass-fed aspect actually matters. Right. The purpose behind protein supplements generally, this is more of like collagen territory. This has a very different amino acid profile than does like whey protein. I would never buy it, but if you're trying to supplement with protein, you want to get whey protein, casein protein, milk protein, something that has the right amino acid profile. This doesn't. And it's like not even halfway full. Tastes good. Mmm, that's a great flavor. Not something I'd ever buy. Go keto lemon cucumber, so exogenous ketones. Should we do a ban on supplements? We've had so many of these. We say the same thing every time. There's a there's one company that makes the ketones, Go BHB, mm -hmm. right? And it says- So it people take those from them, put their packaging on them, maybe mix it up, like put something else in it and then sell it to you. And all that really matters is the price, right? You're paying for the ketones, so just find the lowest price one that has the Go BHB ketones. So prove it, for example. That's on the extreme high end. They put a lot into marketing, so they charge a huge premium. Companies like this, I don't know. I don't know what they charge. It's just ketones. I guess it's also just a good reminder though to people who are new, maybe seeing this, like what our take on ketones is. Uh, do I have to do the diet or can I just take the ketones? No, you just need to take a powder and that does all the work for you. Yeah. Sour. Very sour. I mean, if I was gonna put a flavor onto the market, it's not gonna be lemon cucumber. Keto crisp. So this has me a little enticed. Cool branding. They wrote us a letter. They did, how sweet. Four net carbs, 10 grams of protein. So there must be some fat in this then. So they've been working on this for a year. Over a year. And they also gave a 30% off code, which is sweet. So check that out for that below. Matt Meg Keto coupon They didn't code. even use Keto Connect. We're actually Matt and Mega for once. 18 fat. 10 protein, 18 carb, 10 fiber, four sugar alcohol. So that gets you four nut carbs. The fiber is chicory root fiber. Chocolate raspberry and that's peanut butter almond or something. This is a big undertaking here. I like the they word crisp. Yeah. They put a lot of money into this, it seems like. Finally got me excited again. I really hit a little- It's like a Rice Krispie treat. I went into a valley there for the last like five supplements. I'm back now, guys. This looks like nothing I've seen before. Looks like a Rice Krispie treat, right? Kind of, yeah. Wow, it actually seems a little crispy. Substantial. Mmm. I don't want to say I love it. It's not a love, but it's a very high like. I don't know what flavor that is. It doesn't taste like almond butter. Yeah, it's more cinnamon. It's like a vanilla cinnamon. It's a good flavor. Sweetness is on the low side. I feel like for a standard palette, it might not be sweet enough. I like how sweet it is though. So the, the ingredients are pretty basic though. Oh, but and the fat to protein is really good. 18 to 10. So now we got chocolate raspberry. 
I like that one better. The texture is what really does it. Flavor's on point, texture's on point. That's a winner. I'd say they got something here for sure. Would you, if you saw these in stores, would you grab one? Yeah, I would. Good Those job, good. Keto Crisp. We haven't gotten like a new bar that's in the rotation in a while, I Yeah, like. they worked hard though and they pulled through. Ketones again. This is Prime D Plus. This is BHB and MCT. I mean, it's a proprietary ketone blend, so you don't know how many ketones you're getting. Oh man, whoa, 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 whoa. See, I guess this is why we like to get them because you make the whoa, whoa, whoa's. I'm just trying to see here. They're telling me per two scoops, which is 15 grams, mm -hmm. there's 13 grams worth of the proprietary ketone blend, but there's only four grams of fat. So where is the other nine grams of weight going? Maybe it's just the ketones? Okay, it could just be the ketones. They're just not telling me how many ketones is in here. So that's why I'm like, why when I can just buy it from someone else and know how much I'm getting? Why would I buy this? Nine grams of ketone blend, right? That would be the only thing that makes sense to me. It shouldn't be this hard to know what you're getting. Yeah, I don't even know, like, is it cheaper to do a proprietary blend label or something? It's intentionally deceptive, but the idea behind it is like, you have some proprietary formula that you don't want the competition to know about. That's a good flavor. Pretty good. Oh, this is from that other company, right? We did this already, Wellpath. Oh, what else was there? They had the BHB too. This is just collagen. Oh, sorry. So just so you know, they also have collagen. Oh, this is with keto chow. Oh, dang. So nothing new. But this is... No, they have a new... They have magnesium drops. Yeah, they have a bunch of electrolyte drops, which is pretty cool. They call them fasting drops and electrolyte drops. The idea is you can just take those when you're fasting. These are what's new, the magnesium drops. Yeah, so this, I don't know that I seek out and buy these, but we get sent, we've got sent a few different kinds of electrolyte liquids like this, and I do find myself using them. I think the idea behind it is that the minerals are in a water solution, so they're more available to your body as opposed to just taking the mineral on its own. I don't know if that's true though. Right. And then what one last thing guys, we got sent some meats, fox hollow meats, and we ate them. Yes. Here's a picture of the steaks that we cooked. They were ribeye. They were good. They sent us beef liver also and some ground, ground beef. beef. So check out their site. They were good, very good. And they actually cut them thick, like an inch thick. They were nice. Winners and losers. We have a standout winner this time. Fix and fog. I yeah. didn't know peanut butter could be elevated to this level. So Matt's not even going to eat these. It's going to be up to me and it's going to be very dangerous. These are really good. Best peanut butter I've really ever had, I have to say. Had in a while because we're just used to Crazy Richards, which is our favorite. No, I'd say ever had. I'm saying it. Ever had. I don't know. I, there's a lot of peanut butter out there I haven't tried. I don't know that I'm like routinely just going to blow $14 on this. I'm a... I don't know, would I? It's almost a dollar an ounce. Well, you don't even eat peanut butter like that. I feel like it's more of a gift I would give someone who's a peanut butter fan. Yeah, because like this is how whiskey bottles come, right? They come yeah. in like those containers. Or if I was really rich, this is all I would buy is this kind of peanut butter. I would know. If I was really, really rich, I would just have like a stand at my door so every time someone left, they could take one. Yeah. That's what I would do. Well, I mean, we'd just buy the company if we were really, if we were that <laughs> rich. <laughs> Keto Crisp, Keto guys. Crisp. It's a winner. These winner. guys are going somewhere, I think. Yeah, very impressed. This is definitely like rookie of the year type of product, right? Yeah, Julius. Julius. I would say these are uh, yeah. a big winner. I, I, we've used them a lot. I put some like honorable mentions like these. This was pretty good. I know you liked it. These drinks were pretty good. Yeah. And then like the Rouse marinara sauce, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Those are like honorable mentions. Because I didn't taste it on camera. This actually Rouse is a winner for me. I don't know that we got losers. It's just like a lot of supplements and stuff that could all be categorized as losers. That was it. That's it. We'll see you next time. On The Price is Right. Ooh.